Have you ever wanted to design your own bandana? It's actually easier than you think. So today I'm going to show you how to make a bandana design on Photoshop. First you have to start out with a square panel or a square canvas and then the trick is to create four quadrants and split it up and, to, and there should be an actual divide tool to make it easier, but for some reason I was not able to make it work. So instead I took a very long time to create the perfect um, square and triangle shapes that I needed to create the quadrant and Make sure to do this on a separate layer because it is not actually part of the design. This it will just help m help you um, lay out your design very easily because the main trick of this is that it's going to be like creating a mandala effect where we're only going to design one triangle and then it'll be easy to copy and paste it over into the others. And so I went and was able to get the official iWoo logo to put onto my bandana. And to make it easier, I actually moved the entire square onto its side, more like a diamond, just because it made it a lot easier for the designing aspect. And then I also made the background red and deleted the red areas of the iWoo logo so that if I were to print it out it would actually just show up clear and only like show th through what color the bandana color is so I wouldn't actually even have to do it red I could do whatever color I wanted and so the background should definitely be a separate layer because you want your design to be on one layer and it, you know, have the actual bandana as the background because if you actually send it to a printer, you don't want them to print out like a red square of what the bandana was going to be because that won't work. And after I got all my squares lined up, I was ready to begin designing. And so I created just a nice clean border because that's just kind of a constant I usually see on bandanas. And I wanted to stay true to kind of the bandana design before just going out and creating my own. Like, I, I just wanted it to still look like the... I wanted it to be stylized in the bandana way. That sounded really weird. Um, <laughs> and so after you have, like, the border, you want to create one like the stereotypical bandana shape and you can do this using the pen and shape tools to kind of just form it and you only the trick is to actually you only need to make one so it takes a very long time to t make this was actually the hardest part of the design I imagine you can actually go online to find a pre-made one that would make it a lot easier because I I was very new at the pen tool and had a hard time creating the shapes that I needed, but after a while I was able to create them and it turned out very pretty and I liked it, so I just, you know, made the little details, the little dots going around. And this will come in handy because instead of doing all these small details that always make bandanas seem so impressive if you can make one piece that you really really like then you can just copy and paste it and move it around and create all the designs you want which you'll see in just a second and so once you complete that design you can move it onto your triangle and remember you only need to design one triangle liked and what looked interesting to me I mean be creative. God gave you your artistic ability, so play around with it until you find a favorite composition that just makes you smile, because unless you're selling it, this is mainly just for you. I, 
I, since we didn't even get to print ours out, you know, it was just something for a grade, but it was also something that just really made me happy. <laughs> and so you just have to keep working it. I actually found it easy to kind of start splitting up the different elements of that one design and just used little bits of it, like the inside swirl instead of doing the outside a complicated swirl. And it, it's very interesting to make because it's hard to imagine what it will look like once it's completed because you're only doing one triangle at a time. And so fast forward a little bit. After you finish your first triangle, you copy the first triangle and mirror it perfectly so that you have a square. And after you have your square, you can copy and paste that square and just rotate it and continue that until you have your completed bandana. And it's that last part is really easy. It will be done in seconds. That one triangle is what takes the absolute longest. And so to finish mine up, I simply went out and found the official Indiana Wesleyan University red color for the background because I wanted to stay true to the actual red instead of the red that I can had kind of just thrown on there. And then I went and actually Add in another logo to kind of fill up the area that was kind of just left empty. And so I also had to print out the, it for the final design to turn in for my design class. So that's me there. I, ex I absolutely loved this design, but I was really sad that we couldn't actually print it out like on a real bandana. But I'll make a deal with you. If I get 10 subscribers and 100 likes on this video, then I will go out and actually find a site to print it out on a real bandana. Because I did a little bit of research and I think, I think it can be done. I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to do it. But I, I gotta see if it's at least gonna be worth it. So if enough of people are interested and wanna try to actually see it, done and see what it actually looks like if you print out a bandana from a design in Photoshop, then maybe next time I'll see you wearing a sweet bandana. All right, have a good week. Bye!